Hi guys, it is Marsh. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are delving into a little bit of controversy. So, obviously the Summon Rush tournament has dropped and it is an absurd amount of points needed to be able to get the champion fragments. We happen to have the exact amount of sacred shards that we actually need to be able to obtain that. And it's ridiculous that you need 10 sacred shards, by the way, just to get the fragments. It's actually just insane. Um, but we have 10 sacred shards, they're 500 points each, which will take us to 5,000, which is just about the mark to, to get the champion fragments. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull 10 sacred shards during this actually quite interesting 10x event. We have a chance at getting a second Duchess or a Brogny for the first time, which I would love, um, just because I missed out on the fusion because I took a break from raid and Brogny fusion happened like a month before I returned. So it was gutting to find out that I missed out on him. <clears throat> and we also have a chance at Elva, who again, I would love on the account. She's a really strong support. She'd be great for things like Hydra and I guess the faction wards. So she'd be a massive carry uh, for when it does come out. But without further ado, let's uh, let's go into the pools. Let's see what we get. Number one, starting off epic. Deathless. Yeah, I've already got her. <laughs> the epics, by the way, I'm going to be quite underwhelmed by. I'm really hoping for gold here. Caden. Okay. Provoke a one, but it's not a very high chance. Revives two allies with half their HP and an increased defense de uh, buff. That's okay. Eh, he's not bad. He's like more of a progression champion, I think. And I've like already progressed quite far. Let's see how else we get. Eh, another Stagnite. <laughs> Again, very good champion by the uh, for most of you. I have a video coming soon which actually involves this guy, uh, which is quite nice. But he's really good actually, still to the to the end game. I just already have hit like three copies of him. Um, but yeah, really good for loads of different content. He's good for Hydra. He is good for uh, the Fire Knight. Not Fire Knight. Well, he is good for Fire Knight, but um, the Twins. I can't remember what their name is. Iron Twins, that's the one. He's really good for them. He's in my Iron Twins team with 500 accuracy. Okay, it's another epic. Sepulchre Sentinel. She's actually on the 10x event. Not the one I was hoping for, though. But, you know what, I might actually try to build a clan boss team that involves her, just so I understand a bit more about how she works. Just because I've never actually had the pleasure of using a Sepulchre Sentinel. But, this is not shard number four. Oh, we're still not getting gold, and it's Grunch Killjoy. I've already got this guy, very good for the Ogryn Tribes faction wars, if anybody is struggling and happen to have a, a Grunch Killjoy. Okay... Warden, again, kind of underwhelming, but good for progression. Four more left, come on. We just want one gold. Please. Hotatsu, not really what I'm after either. He looks okay, though. A leech on his A1, again, he looks like he's going to be good for Shadowkin Faction Wars, and then you're probably just going to have better options elsewhere. But we've got three left, come on. Anax, shout out YST, because he's pulled him on his free-to-play. He's, I'd love him on the free-to-play account, but he's just not what I'm after right now, man. Oh, come on, one shard left. We've got Siege Hulk, who's a good nuka. I do already have him, though. So far, no unique champions. Come on. It's painful. It is so painful. But hey, at least we got the uh, the fragments that we're after, right? Oh, that's so sad. It looks like YST isn't the only person having a terrible shard luck. I shouldn't have watched his video before. It's just giving me uh, it's giving me bad luck. Hmm. Thing is, I've very recently like removed my mercy for ancient shards, so it's just not worth pulling for them. I mean, there's no harm in it, right? We'll do a 10 pool. We'll save the two. But this is looking pretty sad as well. Yep. And should we do a 10 pool for the voids? Nah, I need to save the voids. We'll put off the rest of the ancient shards though, come on. There's still a chance. 
Come on. Damn. Disappointing pull. See, that's crazy, man. We pulled 10 sacred shards during a 10x. Ugh. The main reason I did it, by the way, is just for the hopes of getting a Brogni or an Elva. It's sad that we didn't get them, but hey ho, that's uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. But hey, we're we're still on track with Pythian. How many fragments is that now? 85. So we only need 15 more, and I still think we need to finish off this dungeon divers. That'll give us another five, so we only need 10. Artifact event I need to finish off, so that means we need five more. And I don't know what else there is. I've got the ones from these. Oh, okay. I'll finish off the spider. So that actually means that we finish off the uh, the fusion, which is happy days, I guess. But disappointing not to see gold. But either way, thank you for joining me for the, the shard pool. Um, drop a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the other content on the channel. Uh, check out the finite team video that I dropped. It's like a new speed run finite team that i don't think anyone else has covered before so if you're interested in that kind of thing then uh, check it out but without further ado thank you for watching and peace